My name is Amy Doe, and I'm here at Tamarack Nature Center. I'm indoors, and behind me is the indoor greenhouse. And I'm very excited because we are starting our garden. At Tamarack, we have a teaching garden, and we call it that because we teach kids, we teach adults, and it's kind of like a community garden. Uh, the summer campers eat lots of the garden up and they're planting the garden and they are harvesting and then some of the food goes to the food shelf. So we call it our teaching garden. We are doing seed starting uh, right now in our greenhouse. A couple of reasons to start seeds indoors is because things like tomatoes need extra time to grow. They like warmth and it's kind of fun to start seeds. That's one reason to start seeds. Another reason is the heirloom. There's some heirloom, rarer breeds that you don't usually find in the, in the greenhouse that plants that are already started for you. So that's one reason. I'm gonna show you some resources that you guys could, you, you could have if you are do, starting seeds at, at your house. A couple of resources that are great for gardening is garden books. There's lots and lots of garden books, lots of different varieties of garden books. Uh, you can look up online and kind of explore different books. Another resource is uh, uh, storing your seeds. So right here we have, I used a photo container to start, store our seeds. You can get seeds at lots of different places. I like Johnny's Seeds, uh, Seed Savers, and then the Seed Library, which is uh, in the White Bear School, or White Bear Library, uh, is an actual seed library. And she is has a blog, and she's telling you how to get the seeds this time of year when the library uh, is closed. There are many different recipes for uh, seed starting soil. That's soil that's different from the soil that you have in your ground. It's different from potting soil. And it's a little less rich than those types of soil. Uh, there's a couple different recipes you can find online. What we mixed this year was vermiculite, coconuts, worm castings, and uh, perlite. So we mix those th those th four things together, and that's what got our seed starting soil. Over here, we have different containers that we use to start our seeds. So this is a good way to recycle your orange juice, which I hope you're drinking, getting your vitamin C this time of year. Uh, so we took the uh, and let it get. Rinse it out really good with soap and water several times, let it dry, and then we simply cut it down this way and then cut it all the way around. Be careful and poke some holes in the bottom because you want drainage holes. And then we filled it with the, our seed starting soil and we put our tomato seeds in it. These are our tomatoes and actually they should be a little bit taller, so I, I either overwatered or underwatered my tomatoes this year. That's, that's part of seed starting is uh, troubleshooting issues. So what, why I'm saying it, it should be a little taller and the leaves are a little yellow. If you get yellowish leaves, that means that you're overwatering or underwatering. And here we have a different kind of container. These are you're gonna love this. This is cow dung pots. And the uh, benefit of that is you can directly plant this into the, the whole pot into the ground. This works really well with some things like herbs, some things like sunflowers, because sunflowers don't like being transplanted. Their roots, if they get root disturbance, then they get really upset and sometimes die. So the, these pots work really well for things like that. This one right here is basil, which I started a couple of weeks ago. Sunflowers I started a couple of weeks ago. And you can see they're uh, 
stems are going a little crazy, that's because I put them outside, and that's called hardening. And you want to harden your plants by uh, bringing them outside and letting them get used to wind, letting them get used to the sun and temperature changes. Thank you for joining us inside Tamarack uh, and visiting the greenhouse and talking all about seed starting. Uh, next up, we will be uh, later this week, we will be doing outside direct seeds sowing, and we'll talk a lot about that. And thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful spring. Remember, spring isn't canceled. Have a great one. Thank you.